Hi there, it's Madrika de Maria and welcome back to the channel, the place that helps you create success in the feminine way. Uh, feel free to go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Today's topic is about live the dream life with no formal education. So I'm sharing the last 26 years of my journey to success the, the tools and strategies I've used. Take what you want, leave the rest. Remember, this is your unique journey. So let's talk about the topic today. Um, live the dream life with no formal education. Why this topic today? Well, that's what I've done. So I thought I'd share that one with you, that it is all possible. You do not have to have formal education or these rules about how you're good enough. You're already good enough. You're perfect as you are. The thing is that you haven't quite either found that or you're looking to compare yourself to others. You are unique and special in your own right. So I want to share my story here in the hope that you might get some little techniques or distinctions from this that you are enough. You can do anything that you desire and want. So let me tell you, I hated school. Well, did I hate it? I didn't enjoy it. I, I wouldn't say I hated it. I enjoyed the social aspect of it, but I did not like the education part. I am a super creative person and I really struggled at school. I had a lot of pressure from my family to perform at school and I really just couldn't do it. Education for me was really tough, learning things, remembering things, but anything practical, I was awesome at. And um, what's been interesting is I've had a lot of success over the years and I've had a lot of challenges around this not being educated enough. I off for such a long time, I would kind of go, I'm not educated enough. I was intimidated by people who had a formal education. I remember going out socializing and if I met somebody who was highly educated, a doctor, a, <clears throat> an accountant or a solicitor, I'd feel really intimidated by them. Like, I don't know what to talk about. And I often used to, uh, struggle with that and when I met Marcus we'd go out and we'd meet business people and he'd gone to he'd had lots of formal education his friends were all from university etc and I remember saying to him like the first time we were going out to meet him with his friends I was like oh my god what am I going to talk about I feel really like oh god intimidated by this and he said just be yourself and I'm like yeah but what am I going to talk to them about just be yourself I'm like oh that's really helpful isn't it <laughs> you know but I remember it being quite a lot of anxiety around that, to be honest. Um, and where it sort of helped is just doing it, you know, just carrying on doing it and kind of thinking, actually, I am just uniquely me and it's okay. But some of the places where I found it very difficult was when we were socializing, I would have that belief system in my head because I did think that I didn't do well at school. I had one O level, which is in art, <laughs> and front everything else. But I, I, I found it difficult to not have the education when the, it was just my own belief system, though. So, like, if we were looking at business documents, I'd always say to Marcus, "Oh, you do that? I can't. I can't. You know, I'll go through two paragraphs and I'd be done." Um, and you know, we'd look through them and it would just be really very difficult. Um, spelling. I, I am horrendous at spelling and grammar. And. Marcus obviously takes the piss out of me with this just because he gets a kick out of it. I would just whack out emails internally, not check my spelling. My PAs, bless them, it's they, they need a degree in deciphering what the hell I'm talking about because it's just a complete shambles. Um, but eventually over time they kind of go, yeah, we can kind of work it out, <laughs> get the gist. Um, but emails internally, don't care, just whack them out. Now the beauty of something like that is I don't care. You know, if it was an email going out to a client, I would spell check it, I'd check it for grammar, I'd take three times longer, I might get someone else to check it. But if it's internally, I just wanna get shit done. I just wanna get things off my to-do list, I wanna take action, I wanna move forward, I want things to, like, you know, to move on and just get things done, you know? Um, and that is the opposite of a lot of people who have, are formally educated. They are to the T, this is important, perfection. Uh, let's like, you know, really look at this. Oh my God, there's a spelling mistake, da, 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 da. And I'd be like, just whack things out. Just whack them out, get the job done. And I would actually, in the end, get a lot more done than somebody who had that formal education because they were so fixated on getting it correct and getting it right. So 
even though I had hang ups about it and I still struggle with it, there's things that you can find to help you out, you know, PAs, spell check, uh, things like that. Um, but what I had, which a lot of people don't have as much of when they've had a really super formal education is, as Marcus calls it, street smart. Street smart, but creativity. And I found in my success in my businesses, when there's been a problem, I've not gone, let's do A to Z. Oh my God, let's really think this through. I go, right, creative mode, think out of the box. How can I get creative about solving this problem? And I come up with these weird ass, um, like awesome ideas that no one else did because I always thought out of the box. So by not having that education, my skill was being creative with the, uh, the challenges, coming up with solutions, thinking outside the box, coming up with some really unusual stuff. Um, and I actually found that that got me much further than had I had that formal education that, because I was being true to myself. So you can live the dream life without a formal education. What you need to do is tap into what is your unique gift, your God-given gift. You know, what makes you you? My, what makes me is my creativity, my ability to adapt and to kind of go all. And formal education isn't the only type of intelligence. There are many, many types of intelligence, you know, and I never, I always used to say I'm not intelligent enough, but really I wasn't educated enough. I was intelligent enough. So it's an important distinction. We're all intelligent. We might not have had that type of intelligence, but it's not what is needed to get the success you want. So I just wanted to really share to you the difference between something that wasn't good and how I then took that and made it my own by doing it my way. Um, hard, of course it's hard, you know, and you do, but you find ways to, to deal with that. Um, but I always had a belief that I was going to be successful. I don't know why that was, it was just a soul thing. It was something that's embedded into me. I'm gonna have success, I'm going to give back to the world, I'm gonna leave a footprint, I'm gonna make an impact, I'm gonna be an awesome inspiration to people around me. And that was always something that just, what I call, bubbles up from inside. You know, you can't explain it. And I love, love luxury. I love lovely things. And if I love lovely things, I have to pay for those things. So I think financial success for me was very important because I like good shit. You know, I love a Dior bag and a Louis Vuitton bag and I love the high street, you know, that love the high street shops as well. I just love things. I love fashion, basically. Um, but I also love traveling and having freedom. So for me, there was always that outcome of all those great things I want in my life. And the way I get to those is by having a successful business. And if I'm not educated, that's fine because I will find a way my way. So here's a question for you. What's your way? You know, who are you? What could, how could you live the dream life? Um, even if you don't have the education that you think you need, because maybe you don't need it anyway. I really hope you've enjoyed this video um, and it's given you a little bit of distinctions and also a couple of, a um, bit of inspiration maybe that if I could do it, anyone can do it. Really, I have no superpowers, have no education. <laughs> So, you know, I hope you've, you've enjoyed this and you got something out of it. Um, I've, I've loved doing it today and really sharing how my journey's been through that creativity. Love a bit of creativity. Um, so to just to recap, you do not have to have a formal education to live the dream life. You just have to be you, find your uniqueness, find how you can capitalize on that and, and make a business around that so that you can really, really enjoy that. Um, do please do hit the subscribe button to stay tuned in and the like button if you've liked this video. I'd love to hear from you. Success is not a spectator sport. So let me know what you got out of this and what actions you're gonna take from this video. Until I see you again, Remember, magic happens when you're simply you.